Hey football coaches and football players, today I'm going to give you some simple youth flag football or football drills that you could run with your team. Let's get down to the clipboard, let's check these out. Okay, so in this first drill, we're going to have a quarterback line and a receiver line. And what we are going to be doing here is having the receivers run past each of these pylons. Now, when they come up to each pylon, I want them to do a quick stutter step before they change their direction. Now, once they hit this last pylon, you can stand there as a coach if you would like and tell them to take a certain route, whether it be to then continue out towards this right side or to cut back towards the left side or to go straight downfield. Now of course we're not going to be spreading out these pylons through 50 yards at all. This is just for demonstration purposes. I have no other background options for this video. However, I would be personally looking to spread these pylons out between 20 and 30 yards depending on the age. Once, however, you have completed your round, I would then have the receiver line go in the back of the quarterback line and then the quarterback line go in the back of the receiver line. The reason why I do this is so that I can help teach my team every position possible because you never know what's going to happen in two, four, or six years. You may have a player who was originally a wide receiver who may turn into a quarterback later on and vice versa. Now whether you have a flag football team or a football team, it doesn't really matter. This next drill is the same as the last. However, we are stacking it, which just means we're adding an extra thing for the players to do. So now, same idea, running stutter stepping at each pylon, having the option to go left, straight, or right. And then, now we're, what we are adding is the third line. So what's going to happen here is the first player from each of these lines, they're also going to be running still at those pylons. However, this is the defensive line. So what we're going to be doing here is having this first player follow player 3 blue past these pylons and what he's trying to do at the same time is to try and get ahead and away from that defender. Meanwhile the defender is trying to intercept that pass. Now if you would like you could add extra pylons out on either side like I have here now so that now as soon as for example player three catches that ball if he does he needs to go let's move this pylon to the middle so it would be then here equal distance to these two side pylons and once he gets here and he goes in one of those two directions or even three directions he let's say catches that ball he now needs to touch one of those two side pylons before the first player in the line on the defensive side, so the defensive player either takes his flags, does a two-hand touch if it's a non-touch or a non-tackle practice, or takes him down if it is a full contact practice. Now this next drill is also a lot of fun. So we're going to have the first players from each of these two lines running, trying to touch this pylon, but at the same time this is the offensive team and this is the defensive team. What we are looking to do here is at the first level of this drill, they're both going to be running in this direction. The quarterback is going to try and pass to this player. Once he gets that ball passed to him, he still needs to go touch this pylon and same as the defensive player. Meanwhile, this defensive player needs to try and pick off that pass. Now at this time, what we're going to be doing is having player 3 blue touch the pylon and then try to touch this one. He needs to touch this pylon before player 6 touches this pylon and either two hand touches player 3 tackles him if it's a full contact practice or steals his flags if it's a flag football practice. Now to add an extra layer to this we could then have player three still needing to receive that ball obviously touch that pylon but we could add in that this defensive player does not need to touch that pylon and just has to try and get player three. Now that last drill is a lot of fun for younger players. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe. I'll see you guys again next time.